And welcome back. It is 6.15. All this week here on Sunrise, we're looking at how connected our kids are. Live gaming systems are the rage with teenage boys. With Xbox Live, they can work as part of a team from the comfort of their homes. But Sunrise reporter Chris Kirshner joins us now with why they could also open the door to danger. Maybe something parents really have never thought of. Yeah, they may not be thinking about that. You know, you're so focused on what they're doing online, but maybe not so much with the live gaming. How many times have you told your children from a young age, don't talk to strangers? Well, have you thought about who your teenagers may be talking to when they're playing live online? Discovered a multiplayer. Like many boys his age, 13-year-old Sam Perino is a big fan of Xbox Live. Shooting as many guys as I can. He does have a tendency to obsess on, on playing it. Yeah, these are on. For several hours at a time if he was allowed to. Although mom Laura sets firm rules, like limiting the time he plays and keeping the game in a central location, she can't control everything. I've heard cussing in the past. Have them take off their headset for a moment and put on the sound on the TV, and you will hear language that will rival that of a rated R movie. Program director for My Cyber Guardian, an organization that educates parents about today's technology, Dan Clawson admits live gaming can be a positive experience for teenage boys. The concept about live gaming and these gaming consoles and the headsets is to work together as a team. All the red guys on the bottom are who I'm facing. The problem is, teammates can be anyone from anywhere. You can kind of hear them talking on there for a little bit. We teach our children at a very young age not to open the door to strangers, but that's exactly what can happen with live gaming. But if that means that they're talking to four or five individuals they've never met, that maybe are using voice masking technology to make their voice sound younger than it is, that is where I have a concern. I mean, I usually just mute them. Sam's mom insists he only play live with people he knows. As for the headsets? I mean, I think he's hearing things that may be inappropriate for, for at my time, the 12 or 13-year-old to be hearing. So a lot of times I'll say, hey, you need to get off that game. Yeah, and Laura's rules are right on, say experts who recommend parental controls. There is a control on the console where you can set to friend. So you want to play only with people they know and trust. Now, parental ratings on the games, they're only going to get you so far, so they suggest removing the headset. So you can also hit the mute function like Sam said that he does. Uh, that'll help as well if they want to wear those headsets. Now, Clawson says parents are less suspicious of live gaming on, than they are on, uh, online, so you do need just to uh, be just as aware of that. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. well, some great advice this week. Really appreciate it. And Thanks. I know you're going to be talking more with some experts throughout the weekend on Weekend Sunrise. Yeah, there's so many questions that parents still have, both kids at a young age and teenagers, so we are going to cover it more in depth. On Weekend Center is from 6 to 10, so we hope you'll join us for that. Also, WTHR.com. We have a link to Dan Claus and My Cyber Guardian uh, there, so that's really helpful information. All right, Chris, we appreciate it.